Watofo enters the game with a brand new RTA called the Serpent. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. We are back yet again for another review. This time it's going to be an RTA, which is a rebuildable tank atomizer from Wotofo. Wotofo. Um, it is called the Serpent and it was sent to me for free for the purpose of this review from Wotofo. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I got it in the mail and I said, hmm, what is this? And actually I was sent two devices. I was sent the Serpent and also just a sub-ohm tank with uh, pre-built coil heads called the steam engine. And I'm gonna review that next probably. But I've been messing with both of them all day today and I have a lot to talk about. So why don't we do this? Why don't we break it down, dive in, take a look, and then I'll let you know what I think when we zoom back out. Let's dive in. Here's the outside of the Serpent from Motofo. Now in this, I already opened this, uh, they give you this little baggie with competition wire. And what this is, is two coils. And to me, it looks like twisted canthal. So you can see these wires are, uh, they look like twisted canthal probably. Fiber wrap two and a half millimeter. They also give you your tool, which is nice. And some O-rings and other little goodies. Post screws or grub screws. Organic cotton. And your tank. So let's run down some product features. It's 22 millimeters in diameter. It has a four milliliter tank capacity. It has a dual function top cap, independent chimney control, which raises and lowers the chimney, and it also has top fill capability. It also has dual adjustable airflow slots, 13 millimeters by one and a half millimeters each. It has a two post build deck. It's designed for high power single coil configurations, naturally oriented for crossing the build, and it has three millimeter by five millimeter half circle wicking ports, and it's Allen keyed. It also has a gold plated contact for the 510, it's peak insulated, and it uses high quality stainless steel and glass construction. So there you go. So let's take a look. So there's your gold plated 510, serialized, the Tofo Serpent. Everything has nice threading so you can get a grip of things for unscrewing the bottom for your build deck. You also have your adjustable airflow control. It spins freely. It's got just enough resistance that it stays put, but it doesn't feel loose or sloppy. You have two large windows for seeing your juice liquid amount. And you can see here your top and your drip tip. Now, I have not been able to get this, to get this drip tip out. I don't know if it comes out or not. I, I think it may be stuck in there, but I do see a little gap. But I have tried and tried and tried, and I just can't seem to get it. Let me try one more time. Hold on. Okay. It does come out. <laughs> it's just got a really tight O-ring. So I used a cloth and some vice grips and I was able to remove it. So if you want to remove your drip tip, you can. All right. There you go. But it is tight. But tight is good. Usually, right? I'm just saying. I like tight. So you may want to put a little bit of uh, e-liquid on here to help it slide in, a little lubrication. All right. So this is where you fill from. Now when you fill, I want you to notice, if, if you watched my review for the steam engine, um, they use the same top piece for that. So what you'll notice is, you can see it says serpent right in there. But take a look at the chimney. See how it's sort of connected in the middle there? And take a look down there. All right, now watch this. So when I do counterclockwise, it 
what it's doing is, is it's raising the chimney. And then it stops once it's fully raised. You get a better look when I'm inside, but that's the entire juice channel that you're seeing right there. So if you want max flow, you open it all the way. If you want to close it off for when you fill or if, you, if you're traveling or transporting or letting it sit, you can just tighten it all the way down to the bottom and the chimney lowers right down all the way. Really innovative, cool stuff here. All right, to fill, you just unscrew this. There you go. Uh, you do want to make sure though, when you unscrew that, make sure you're not unscrewing this bottom part. I have noticed that it can happen. So uh, make sure it's tight before you start to unscrew that or hold this in place and then unscrew and then you should be okay. All right, so you just fill from the top. No problem there. And if you want to access your build deck, you just grab the base, unscrew counterclockwise and voila but all the machining and threading is silky smooth just it's a beautiful simple you know just beautiful i love it so let's do a build So your build deck. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your tool and loosen up your grub screws. Really simple with this included tool to loosen them. And they look nice and flat, like they're not gonna cut your wire. Nice big, 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 uh, holes for your leads. You can fit some pretty sick, thick wire in there. Now notice the orientation of everything, okay? Notice how these are the, the positive and negative post. Yeah, here's your positive and your negative. And they're sort of tilted and this juice channel here is also tilted nice and big huge airflow from the bottom just a really big easy single coil build deck so I changed it up a little bit um, instead of the two and a half millimeter coil I decided to go with a three millimeter Clapton and I have it pretty much set up the the post uh, grub screws are locked in and um, it's firing pretty nice it's reading one point zero three ohms I'm pretty happy with that. So, let's wick it. So I cut some of this cotton, and we're gonna see how good this thing wicks with a three millimeter. How are we gonna do this? Let's see here, so the juice channel. I think I'm going to do it like this. I think I'm going to lay it right on top 
with a nice thick fluffy wick and I think I'm gonna lay it right on top with a little tiny bit going in there but I think I'm just gonna fill that whole area up yeah we'll see I mean this is my first build so we'll see how it goes but I cut it right to the top of the juice channel I'm gonna use some Max VG Morning from Daily Dose. So we'll see how that goes, you know. You never know until you try. So let's attempt to put this chimney back on. Tighten that. And let's we're gonna tighten the top also so that the chimney is all the way down. The chimney should be all the way down when we fill. Make sure that we're not short. Good. Let's fill it. It's right from the top. Lubricate our drip tip a little bit. Drip tip's back on. Let's open up the juice uh, channel. I'm going to op open it up all the way to get, get nice, nice wicking for this. So we're just going to hold the base and spin counterclockwise. And it's all the way up. So there doesn't seem to be any flooding or anything. That's a good sign. It's all the way up. All right, so let's let this sit for a minute and let's zoom back out. We'll take it for a vape. All right, let's zoom out. The up close, beautiful tank, beautiful build. Um, really nothing to complain about here, guys. It's a rebuildable tank atomizer, so you need to have some skill to be able to build, but it is a si uh, really simple two post design build deck, huge airflow from underneath the coil. And um, I love the way everything sort of um, sort of crossed at an angle uh, for that crossing build. And it makes it really easy to do a build and a wicket. Um, everything you saw in the up close, I have in this right now. So the build is exactly the same. The wicking is exactly the same. I've made no adjustments. And I've gone through about four tankfuls of liquid and it is keeping up like a champ, okay? So the millimeter diameter, the wicking, everything stands as is. So you can sort of use that to gauge where you're gonna be at. Um, the resistance is 1.02, so it's, it's above one ohm. Um, but it is a Clapton coil and I'm using a DNA 200 so I have a lot of kick and a lot of power to heat that coil up really fast. I only have it at 55 watts right now. Now, 55 watts for a one ohm coil is pretty high. Uh, I'm sort of offsetting the resistance with power um, but let's take this for a vape. The airflow is wide open and um, I'm using high VG liquid and let's take it for a vape. This thing throws serious clouds, serious flavor. It's excellent, excellent. The build quality is superb, easy top fill, 
no leaking. I love this screw down chimney section that sort of covers up the, the wicking channels. Uh, it wicks like a dream. I mean, I'm at 55 watts, it's getting warm, but I could raise this bad boy up to 70 or let's go up to 75 watts for a one ohm. And it's still I could go higher. Eighty watts on a one ohm build. That was getting a little dry. So I'd I'd probably drop it down to around sixty. That would be a sweet spot, I think. Sure we get that coil wet or the wick wet. But you could blow, blow nice warm clouds. Now, if I close off the airflow to a little bit, it's still going to be pretty open and airy. But depending on how low you build your coil, how how much you know, how many wraps you do, you can sort of adjust that airflow a little bit more uh, manually. That's too warm that tight. So this is definitely for the vapor and for the airflow. Um, but big wicking channels, big, you know, easy to fill tank, four milliliters of juice capacity. I think it's a fair trade off. Uh, it's kind of a tall tank, but I mean, when you compare it to, yeah, here's the Mutation X. So it's the same height as that, except this sort of has that lift up for the top fill, which I'm not a huge fan of. I kind of like a flush top, but it's not as bad as like the aroma miser. Uh, I kind of, it looks more like it's part of the actual uh, build here. So um, only real con I could say is number one, you, you might be able to build dual coils in this, but it is a two post, two holes, um, one hole per post build deck. Really, I think accessing the inside of it to clean it, you know, you can definitely soak it but you're not gonna be able to change your glass out. So if you break your glass, you're kinda of beat. Other than that, it looks gorgeous. It hits amazing. Um, you know, from the peak insulator to the gold-plated 510, to the juice channels, to the air, smooth as silk airflow. Amazing vapor production. It's a wonderful single coil RTA. I'm totally happy with it. The Serpent from Watofo. You can pick it up from Vapor DNA. I have a link below. If you're interested, it's $29.99 and it's in stock right now, shipping from the US. Vapor DNA, link below. And um, the only other negative is that I don't see any colors besides stainless. So chances are in two months from now or a month from now or a week from now, they're gonna have a black version and maybe a white version. I wish they would have had it all from the beginning, but you know I complain about that on all my reviews because they never do. Hopefully they'll listen and in the future they'll have all the colors from the start. You're probably gonna get tired of me and I apologize if there's a lot of content but I just gotta get it out because it's coming in faster than I can make reviews for it. So hopefully I'll continue doing the best that I can. It's gonna be more of a holiday showcase than a full thorough in-depth review. It's the best I can do. I am busting my butt to try to keep the content and the quality up for you guys and um, you know make your holiday buying decisions a little bit easier. All right, I'll see you soon. Have a good one. I'd like to wish you all a happy and healthy holiday season. I hope you get to spend time with your family and friends and those that you love. I hope the vape mail is delivered on time with exactly what you ordered. And I really want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all of your love and support. If you're new to my channel and you love to vape, this is where you want to be. Happy holidays, everybody. I'll see you real soon.